Nicolazzi's office is clear. We're heading for the rear gangway. We have you surrounded. What the hell did you find in there, man? Lambert's flipping out big time. What's he saying? That we're going to war. Georgian special forces have taken hold of villages scattered throughout Azerbaijan. Incredibly, Kambayn Nagalads appears to have been able to move thousands of troops across the border over a course of weeks, completely hidden from both local and international authorities through a high-tech... Number of Azerbaijani casualties are unknown, but early estimates number in the high... The freedom-loving people of the world cannot stand idly by and allow an act of such staggering inhumanity and scale. In their third day of fighting, U.S.-led NATO troops took three more Azerbaijani villages occupied by Georgian special forces. U.S. troops met only light resistance and suffered minimal casualties. The Georgian commando cells are becoming increasingly hard to locate as military intelligence suffers repeated... Kumbayn Nikolads has vanished along with his top military advisors. Speculation points to Nikolaz's fear of a war crimes tribunal as motivation. A two-minute webcast from locations unknown, Georgian President Kumbayn Nikolaz called America and its allies an army of scarecrows, declaring them helpless to defend themselves or their homeland. The precise nature of Nikolaz's threat, experts fear, could make itself known within... Fisher, we've uploaded your mission objectives. Grimstarter says the rig's encryption protocols are bulletproof, so we're gonna have to let one of Nikolaz's geeks log on before we get a chance at any intelligence. Why would they be holding onto this rig? It's not Nikolaz's smartest play. That's what got our attention. 
Nikolads is sacrificing several cells to hold on to it, so whatever's coming over the network must be critical. Mission objectives on your opsat. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat, blowing the bridge. Bad news, Fisher. Something got the military's attention. Oh, boy. Your old rig just got bumped into the single digits on NATO's strike list. Ride yourself a technician and get that data. Time just got scarce. Everybody look lively. Our computer technician is returning with the encryption key. I need two men to meet him at the docking station and escort him to the data hub. Let's get this finished quickly. We're a sitting dock out here. Relay alert from Philip Mass. We have incoming American warplanes.
That's our friends from the Air Force. Ground troops are imminent. We'll keep you updated. Who's there? Got the situation. He looks dead. He has We're under attack. We've sustained heavy damage to... Fighter planes! They're coming in again! Reports of incoming troop transport! Identify Some yourself. kind of foreign commando! Ah. We're under attack! We've sustained heavy damage to... Incoming troop transport! We're under attack! We've sustained heavy damage to... Fighter planes! They're coming in again! Reports of incoming troop transport! There's something over there. I've got a dead boat. Oh. GPS shows you trailing dangerously behind Piotr. If you don't get closer, we're going to lose him. It won't open. Unlock it, you net. I did. I think it's broken. What's the hold up? It's this damn rig. Everything's... Never mind. We'll go around.
Change of plans, Fisher. You're going after that technician, Piotr. We want the briefcase that's chained to his wrist. He downloaded the data to that? To a laptop inside it. Use whatever force necessary. Change of plans, Fisher. You're going after that technician, Piotr. We want the briefcase that's chained to his wrist. He downloaded the data to that? To a laptop inside it. Use whatever force necessary. Find a foreign commando. <clears throat> Kind of foreign commando. Ah. I'm being attacked. Ah. Ah.
job, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. How much longer is this gonna take? Your daughter's on the line. Just running the encryption. Black hell! What's up, Grip? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. Fisher, you're up. Dad? Sarah. Hi. Where are you? On my way home. I thought you were gonna call last week. Something came up. I'm sorry. That's all right. Were you in Georgia? Honey, you know I can't. That. Yeah, I know. I was just watching it on TV. Ah! Sarah. Sarah! <laughs> Anybody have a line back to third echelon? I'm here, Fisher. What the hell's going on? Nikolaj's just declared war on the U.S. What? The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. What's our defense? What are we doing? What do we have? Nikolaj's caught us with our pants down. All we've got is the laptop you pulled off the oil rig. My daughter. I know, I know. I I've got people heading over there. This whole country's a mess. I need to see Sarah. You know what you need to do. We're helpless until we find Nikolads. You're heading for the CIA. Your mission just became critical. Failure at the Red Bear Army Community Hospital in Mississippi resulted in 17 deaths and over 30 injuries. Both county electricity and backup generators were destroyed, leaving military train traveling to Norfolk, Virginia, collided with a commuter rail line after an apparent failure of its automated routing system. U.S. military has not released the contents of the train's cargo, though federal authorities have evacuated a 20-mile radius surrounding the wreckage. Though no official death toll has been given, initial reports indicate the deaths of over 40 enlisted men. Potential civilian casualties are believed to be much lower. Newspapers talking about cyber terrorism, an information crisis, information warfare call it what you will but realize that no american is safe until we mobilize our army rescue workers their information grid entirely disabled were unable to respond to the crash for nearly an hour injuries became fatalities as to combine nicolades the georgian president still in hiding though his first wave of cyber terrorism focused on military targets Intelligence proposes that a large-scale civilian target could just as easily... We have faced terror before and triumphed. I promise here to the American people that we will triumph again. Earth is too small a place for the perpetrators of these acts to hide. The United States and her allies will enact a justice that is swift, true, and absolute.
He said he wanted me to tell you a bedtime story. Nah, I ain't telling no bedtime stories right now. <laughs> Not until the $25 uh, tell you a bedtime story fee is paid. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. Said he was sorry. I'll tell you a story about how he was sorry. See, I don't usually pull up to the hood, but when I do, I gotta be all, I gotta be on my toes. So I was tiptoeing on my shit. I was like, <laughs> onto the ops girlfriend's house, and I was like, all right, all right, all right, time to get rid of the tornado, twister, tooty, to booty shit, <laughs> and I'll be like, all right. Alright, and I pulled up and I tiptoed, and I knocked on the door, and just saw the officer right there too, and I was like, ah, shit, and you're just with this girl, and I just, and then he was like, who's that, and then I had to hide, I had to hide in the shadows, like it was some splinter cell shit, you know, like how you see that on the, my games on the stream, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was hiding, and I was like, He's like, it must have been nobody. So, so he, he closed the door, and he's like, all right, I'm head out, I'm head out. And then, he, and then two minutes later, he left, and I was like, damn, I was close. So then, next thing you know, I'm sliding through, and I'm like, <laughs> cheeks clapped, left the scene. Ops didn't know, well, I think the ops did know. Because there are some distinct signs. But. Yeah. That's pretty much the bedtime story. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the bedtime story. And I had to teepee toe my way out of there. I left a note. And I said. And I said he said he was sorry. And. I mean, I wasn't going to say sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. If anything he was he should be apologizing to me so you know yeah got a couple a couple of calls on the phone later on and I don't know who it was it's just some guy crying yeah I was like oh, shit, headphones flying off and shit I was like <laughs> and then and then the last thing before I dipped out Last thing I said, I was like, he said he was sorry. And I just dipped out. I was like, and then I took out. I disappeared. I was gone with the wind. I was like, he said he was sorry. And, the, and it just like echoed throughout the throughout the whole uh, hemisphere of the of the hood. It's like, you're, you just hear somewhere like in the winds. It's like, it's like passed by the ops house. He said he was sorry. He said he was sorry. 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 And then, and then I hear the ops are like, huh? But all right, all right, that's enough bedtime stories. <laughs> that's enough bedtime stories. We gotta get back to the game too. See, I didn't plan on getting on the mic. Well, what's up, bro? I'm glad you could be here at the streams with me. I'm just gonna stream because I didn't stream today before I go to sleep, and I'm gonna get off. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to tippy toe back into the hood. I'm gonna have to be like. <sighs> Yeah. I ended it hella early. Because I played it like the second match I got into. I just started getting upset. I was like, oh, hell no. This guy's beating me too good. And then I just kept like just shooting it back to his side. And I just ended the stream because I wasn't, I wasn't going to play with people like that. But uh, next time I'll probably stream for an hour instead of letting it go for only 30 minutes. I said he was sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and he's like, who's sorry? <laughs> I 
sure my my position almost got revealed. I stepped on a hot Cheeto. I hear his <laughs> and I was like, and then I just kept deep telling. I was like, thank God nobody heard that. <laughs> stepped on a hot Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, bro. Enjoy. <laughs> Tell me on the text if you want. But uh, yeah, enjoy watching the e football. I got some pretty good plays. The first match, though, the guy, the guy that I played against, he was legit. He, I think he showed respect because even though he beat me, like he showed respect because or. Or like he was like, damn, this guy's pretty good. And I, I stood him up. He played it. He he put it, picked Miami. So yeah, he picked Miami, and then he had a pretty good team actually. His team was better than mine. I'll admit it. But I had some good cards against him though. There were some cards where I matched him up pretty good, and I almost scored on him good too. I definitely had him, you know, shook. He was like, damn, I never seen this team play like that before. <clears throat> and he was like, and he started he started copying a couple of my moves too. He started pulling out the, the long balls. And I was like, yeah, see, that's everything. It's everything. It's got a big court, gotta use it. I'm gonna pull up the chat right here. I said he was sorry. My splinter cell shit. What was I on? <laughs> I didn't in the shadows. I was like <laughs> creeping, creep behind. I'm watching the repo right now. It's just funny. They're towing this guy's car. And his and then the everybody in on that block came over like, hey they're towing your shit and they started fighting right now. Suits. I was watching that today too. 
still good. I'm on the last season. Gotta pay the payments. Oh, and then, yeah, they're fighting and they're like, not in front of my pad, homie. Not in front of my pad. <laughs> not in front of my pad. Mm. Damn. How's the quality look for you to see? It's good? It's good quality? Nice. Creeping in the ops house, like, I was like, ops girl's house, I was like, alright, alright, I gotta make my way in. Shit, I'm scared. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to make a run for it, you know what? Oh yeah. Damn. I need help, I need help, I need help, somebody help me, help me, yes, Come on, come on. No! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like a game of tag. Oh, he was not happy about that. <laughs> Smacked me. Come on, come Person straight up lost. Look at this, they've been running in a circle this whole time. Uh -oh. 
come on, come on. Get myself some distance. Get myself some distance. What? Hmm. You guys want to hear another bedtime story? I'm dead. Ah. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if I can come up with another bedtime story right now. Shit. Damn, they didn't save me. <sighs> Alright. One sec, one sec. I'll be right back. All right. It was just like right after me and Tusi had got done playing a spec op. And we were, you know, it was just two caramel complexion, brown, crispy Mexicans <laughs> playing Warface. And, and then the ops, a uh, girl gave me a phone call. She's like, she's like, Effie, can you please slide? I was like, huh? I was like, what are you talking about? That's not my name. I was like, it's Ace Swollen Colon. Get it right. I'm like, I'm like, that's it. I'm like, you're done for. I had to, I had to take her off the roster. Then I was like, you know what? You can make this up to me. So then I had to slide for Vaughn. For two C Vaughn on the on the two C map on Stumble Guys on Oh well, you guys already know the business. It's, it's a good night it's a bedtime story. And uh even invited the homie Bruce. Homie two C I mean. Bruce Wayne. I invited Batman. <laughs> You pull up with the Spider-Man mask. Wait, wait, was I supposed was I supposed to say that? <laughs> to see, <laughs> could I say that? In my bad, I was overthinking it a little because I didn't want to say some some vulgar stuff. And <laughs> the the Spider-Man mask. Alright, I'm gonna play one more. <coughs> Caramel complexion. Oh crap. Damn, I almost recorded. Forgot to record the game. For sure, that's okay. 
I was like, that is not my name. I was like, shut your ass up when I pulled up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. I didn't, I didn't do that. That's not what I did. I punched her and I hit her. Or is, is, are those the lyrics? Those aren't the lyrics. <laughs> what are the lyrics? Yeah, that was crispy. La callate. Callate la verga. Mm. He did both. He punched her and he and he shit her. Oh great, great! This is gonna be another, another hardcore match. I already know it. And we're probably gonna end up getting killed. I was gonna ask if you wanted to play tonight too. Warface <coughs> or e football? Where do you find these girls? <laughs> you know when you when you join the the voice chat with the and you hear a girl then you gotta make your voice all deep. You met, oh my god, yes, I totally like the same things that you do. Yes. Yes, we're totally the same. Oh shit, oh no, this isn't good. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Ah, dang it. I'm blue. Wow, he's good. Nice. Nah. I still gotta play Warface after this song, so it's not gonna be for like another bit. So we haven't done a single down. I'm missing somebody. Oh, you made it right up the very, very, very last second.
I was like, wow. Extremely close. Gotta watch out for the zombies. Kill themselves. Don't do it. Let me come save you. Come on. My way back here. That better be this one. Okay. At least it's a different one. She's dead, huh? Oh, never mind. She's done for. your brain playing tricks on you. <laughs> wow, what a day. Later. Mm, 
nice hit. <clears throat> These guys aren't even trying though, look, they're literally trolling. Green Glyph Challenge is going to be harder than it looks. Because they're not going to pop out till the end of the game. And knowing that people like to troll me. <sighs> it's going to be very hard to do. Maybe I should keep going. I'm barely at hour eight in. Oh, this is literally impossible. One way or another, it all leads to there. The green glyph, unless you do the killer challenge, which this could be easy. Look, I could just I just gotta hit eight people, and then cut through right here. Oh wow! Not impossible. But uh, I don't play killer. Let's run it again. <sighs> Something faster. I like the plop. Oh, stick out's better. Shit. And I guess we could play right now. I'll play right now and then just play Warface later. I'm gonna get on right now. All right, stream. <clears throat> you guys seen it here? Oops. Crap. Now I gotta fix it again. Alright, stream, you guys seen it here. I told a couple bedtime stories. And. I had to fix the camera right now. It's off color. So I'm gonna go play Warface right now with the homie Tusi. You guys stay up, keep trying to troll us. 
it's just not gonna work keep cheating cheat harder you guys suck you suck and uh peace out everybody Later.